Hello guys, how do you think? Uh, today we are going to see a uh, method of buffering and uh, the implications of buffering, socio-economical implication uh, and uh, other implications of buffering. Uh, when you see the methods of buffering, there are two types of buffering, the Euclidean and the geodesic uh, buffering systems. That means on two-dimensional and the three-dimensional buffering. Do so just open your arc map window and uh, uh, add your data, especially here polygon and uh, line and point data. Okay. And uh, here, uh, as you know, your layer should be uh, arranged logically in your content. Here it says table of content, but in ArcGIS Pro, Pro it is called the content, right? Uh, and uh, that is why here we do have types of buffer zone. Uh, we do have two types of buffer zone, single buffer zone and the multiple buffer zone. Most of the time, we make a buffer zone around point, line, and polygon. Okay, and it has a lot of implication, uh, buffer zone implications. Uh, for example, before we are going to generate this buffer zone generation, let's see some of the implications of buffer zone. Uh, it has a lot of, a lot of implications, social, economic, natural resource management implication, uh, and disaster risk management and reduction implication, and has safety and mitigation implication. For example, uh, for environmental conservation, buffer zone help protect sensitive area like wetland, river, and wild habitat, right? And urban and regional planning. In urban planning, buffer zones ensure proper separation between different land uses, for example, industrial, residential area, and open area, green area, especially in urban area, all those land uses are very, very important. Uh, 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 this enables us to minimize conflict, noise, pollution, and the other disturbance, right? The other one, disaster risk reduction and management. The first zone, very crucial in identifying at risk zone for flooding, wildfire, and other natural and man-made disasters, right? And the other one, infrastructure development. Buffer zones ensure safe distance around infrastructure like road, railway, pipeline, power line to protect the body, infrastructure, as well as nearby community, right? And the other one is health and safety in public health. Buffer zone can limit exposure to pollutants, chemicals, or other hazardous materials by marking safe distance around factories, landfill, or treatment plants. Okay, and the other one is biodiversity protection. Buffer zone around the national park or conservation area create transition zone that prevent habitat fragmentation and reduce the impact of human activity on ecosystem. And the other one, water resource management. Buffer zone along river and lake is help maintain water quality by filtering out pollutant, preventing soil erosion and controlling runoff. Finally, land use regulation. And the last one, public safety and hazard mitigation. Buffer zone around airport, industrial plant, is or area with hazardous material ensure public safety by maintaining a safe distance from people, reduce the risk of accident, especially in land suitability management, buffer zone generation at using a different distance, recommended distance from a different uh, uh, services like airport, maybe uh, land DP, maybe industry is very helpful to reduce uh, uh, and manage uh, disaster, disaster from this hazard. So let us go to how to do this buffer zone. Here we do have three features. Most importantly, we can create buffer around point, line, and polygon. 
first off let's see round point uh, okay here we do have this point is and before that let's select the town with uh, somewhat with some in order to reduce uh, time because if we create buffer on all of the point it takes time to generate so uh, we have to right we have to clip out as you know we can clip for example let us come to here this sort of we can select this sort of and uh, right click on it last time we have seen this one and create layer from selected feature you see we can create it and uh, you can export this create layer okay export it and save to your file here just spatial analysis and modeling lab uh, folder and here you can write this one the disorder the name of this order if you know the name the name of that uh, order to know the name basically here you can overlay the name level the name error you see here it is error so now export it nicely you can write the name of that order right Arrow. and what order. yes and avoid the selected temporary one and clear selection and now go to here and uh, use clip tool to clip the towns of that arrow by the way it is to reduce or minimize time uh, okay our input is our meta our clip feature is our order and our here our what towns okay okay we have done it and you can uncheck or remember this in the order my towns now are gonna to create buffer zone around these towns. For example, these are order that want to you know expand the town. Right? Expand the town. Or to add some area to the town. Maybe for industry or maybe for green infrastructure uh, or uh, maybe a open area, right? So how can we generate that? We'll go to buffer and single buffer for the time being let's see single buffer arrow tabs arrow points right and then here arrow times what buff, which is single buffer maybe by let's say by 10 10 kilometer see and then here 10 kilometer and select the unit kilometer and then here okay it is point so we do have a dissolve it should be it it, it matters by the way this dissolve matters uh, as you want here we do have three options none uh, list and all let's say all all dissolve and run it you see here we do have this you see here we do have this how single buffers of generation you see by how many kilometer 10 kilometer when we use 10 kilometer already there's two towers are uh, you know what uh, already there uh, you know uh, you, can, you can say they are mi mix it right <laughs> mix it if you expand the town by 10 kilometer uh, there's two towns uh, again here there's two towns and here two towns uh, have a common you know area that means they mix up right uh, so you can level the town name this one is Araro town by itself and this is Meta Gafrosa and this one is Hudat and this one is Uchali Uchali town and again here we do have the the Kawat okay the Kawat town so for example 
if the other world expanded town by this 10 kilometer area this two town become one and again this two town will become one uh, I, 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 we have seen the implications of uh, the preference of generation this is how to generate prefer around the point and uh, around polygon you can generate around polygon by the way you can use this one or for example let's use leg leg polygon that is between two areas legs and let us use this leg this leg okay by the way in order to reduce time you can create layer from the selection only around this leg you will create what you will create uh, the this name up a by a leg this is a by leg so export this leg this is a by a by leg excellent now we are gonna to create buffer zone around a by leg which is around polygon right uh, okay buffer zone now let's create multiple buffer zone around a by leg our input feature is my leg output my what buffer by 10 20 and 30 or simply you can say abaya multi multi buffer okay multi buffer okay here inside the distance by 10 kilometer by 10 kilometer and by 30 kilometer away from a leg and then here you need for this select the unit kilometer it should be kilometer around the leg this may be for you know not just just conservation in order to make restrict area right some part of the leg around the leg should be what away from the reach of human being and animal right and some part will be recreational purpose and some part will be for station purpose this is for example right so in order to allocate this final land cover class around the lake you have to generate buffer like this and run Yes, this is the buffer zone generation by 10, 20, and 30 kilometer around the leg. Okay. Mm. Okay, here. Around the leg, let us make the leg above this one, above the leg, above this one. Here we do have the my leg. It should be now logical color like this. This is the buffer zone around the leg. By how many? You can level this. This by 20. Here you have the 10 kilometer and 20 kilometer and 30 kilometer away from what? A leg. Away from a leg. Okay. So in such a way you can buffer, generate buffer zone for different purposes. We have we have seen the purposes. The next one is hmm, very important application. We are going to see very important applications of buffer zone generation. Now let us remove all this and again even the tower. Again the other does. Let us left with the Aromia Rhodes and the what are this? Now we are going to see how to generate buffer zone by 15 km around the road and uh, how to complete accessible orders and road inaccessible orders.
not accessible or thus as well as road inaccessible or thus by how many kilometer 50 kilometer and compute the area of accessible or thus as well as the inaccessible or thus and calculate the percentage of uh, accessible or thus percentage of the accessible or thus to road and percentage of that or that the inaccessible part of that or that to road uh, to do so here uh, we can use uh, three important tools. The first one is buffer zone, the second one is intersect, and the third one is res, right? First, let us buffer. generate the buffer around the route, single buffer. From your road buff, here you can write or road buff. By to 15 kilometer. By 15 kilometer. By 15 kilometer, or you can say 15k here to indicate 15 kilometer. This one is 15, and again here select the unit kilometer. Here you have to be careful the parameter. It should be as you want. As you like. I want to be, I want the side type be full and in type be flat and dissolve type be all dissolve. Okay, so run it. Yeah, it is done. You see, this is road buff by 15 kilometer on both sides of the road. Right? You can inject the road. You see, this is the total area of the buffer zone generated uh, around the road by 15 kilometers. So now we can calculate accessible world as and the inaccessible part of the world does right and we can also calculate or compute the percentage of accessible part of the world and inaccessible part of that world how can we do that we can use two tools as i told you the first one is the intersector you see can use the intersect tool Sector as usual to access this intersect tool right here intersect intersect and enter it special analysis intersect tool open it and calculate the intersection thing for the and the what road buff by 15 kilometer and the here uh, save your output as as what or mea or the intersect or or thus underscore intersect okay to be joined to all in input output type all oh, okay uh, let us let us let us it is the default for other parameters and then okay you see this are the intersection or thus intersection or thus we the road buff uh, generated by 15 kilometer on both sides of the road okay now this is the order you can uncheck this one again this one this is all part of the order which are accessible to road by how many kilometer 15 kilometer 
no so you can you can calculate the area of this each order area of each order access a root road okay access a root road this is a part of all order access a root road for example look here select this one the first one this order that is called dara dara order this this part of the Orada is accessible to it. So how many kilometers? 15 kilometers. Right. This Orada is already selected. This Orada. You see, almost, you can also calculate the percentage of this Orada. Percentage. How many percent of this Orada is accessible to it? You can calculate here. You can add the field. For example, you can add field part here, field and percentage. Percentage of that order. Okay, let's say double the type. You see here the percentage field is added, right? So you can calculate the percentage. Okay, this is how to calculate how to compute the accessible orders. What about the inaccessible orders? How to, to compute inaccessible orders? We can use the the question is here how can you compute inaccessible area of Romeo orders inaccessible inaccessible to road okay we can use what erase tool we can use erase tool go to here erase find erase in your your Processing it to box and this one is there. Now erase what the Romeo road intersect. The Romeo road intersect input feature or Romeo or does and base feature or Romeo or does road intersect. And output or me or does erase or does erase erase okay save it and then okay now we are we are raising Remember that you can double or remember that and then check this one. You see, this one is all raised. You see, this one is the race, all raised of or remember that, right? Get rid of or remember that. And again, look here we do have the race. Race output. This race of Romeo orders tells us all the inaccessible orders to road by 15 kilometers, right? Mostly, which part of Romeo is uh, mostly inaccessible to road by 15 kilometers? This one. The southeastern part and the southern part, as well as the western part, is a uh, uh, phase in the northern part. The central part of Romea is accessible to road, especially when we calculate it by 15 kilometers. Okay, so this enables us to how uh, to manage uh, uh, the infrastructure distribution especially road and other 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 social service distribution like uh, uh, road electricity water uh, hospital and uh, uh, tele telecommunication and on and on right so this is the implication of buffer zone generation uh, thank you for watching next time i will uh, show you uh, some technical uh, part especially how to summarize and how to generate graphs
uh, different types of graphs, uh, bar graph, line graph, and uh, pie chart uh, uh, on this uh, uh, JSON environment. Thank you.